What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today you can edit HTML code in Shopify. So overall, it's not too difficult a process, but it does require you to know what you're looking for. So we're going to go over it here and also how to create a backup. This way, if you create any mistakes, it's going to make your life a lot easier because you can simply restore that. Make sure you stay to the end of the video. And if you're enjoying it along the way, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below. And before we get into it, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, a one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store with a free 15-day trial. Now let's check out the video so you can understand what the app is about. Now let's dive into how you can actually edit the HTML code. So as you can see, I'm logged into a Shopify test store on the back end here, and this would be your admin dashboard under the order section. So mainly you want to pay attention to the left hand side here. So you want to scroll down to online store and it's going to show themes, blog posts, pages, and navigation. We just really want to pay attention to the theme section here. As you can see, there are several themes installed in the store and your current theme is going to show up here under live theme. And so the way to access the code is you can open up this button and you can click edit code here and we'll go into that in a little more detail but first before you look into the code maybe change any code you want to hit duplicate this is going to duplicate your current shopify theme setup so if you do make any mistakes along the way something isn't looking right something isn't loading right you can simply go here and set this one as the current theme and this will be your backup and it's going to restore everything as to it was before i know i've accidentally made changes in the code here and it can be very stress inducing to figure out what's going on especially on a live Shopify store. So let's go back here onto edit code. And this is gonna load up, or load up the code here for your theme. And it's gonna be separated into quite a few files. And it's gonna look very intimidating to you at the beginning, but really all we wanna take a look at is theme.liquid. This is gonna be the head section of the HTML file. If you don't have experience with HTML, it's typically separated into a head section because it's going to show up on every page and nested in there is going to be the body section and then the closing scripts. And so it's going to surround everything. So this code here surrounds your entire theme. Nearly the only edits you'll be making, I think, as a Shopify store owner and not doing any custom development is going to be in the head section. This is where sometimes they'll ask for different and I look tracking tag or things along those natures or along that nature. So I know originally you had to put your Facebook pixel in here. You had to put your Google analytics tag. I think less and less you have to do it now as Shopify has made it much easier to get started without having to touch any of this as it is quite intimidating. You can see as well, different references to JavaScript. This is noted by the script tag here so we can see where it starts and where it ends. Sometimes applications will leave code here after you've uninstalled them. Although I believe that is also not as applicable nowadays is they've made it so it's much easier. So when you're uninstalling and installing apps, it's not gonna leave a bunch of extra code that's gonna slow your site down. So that's the theme.liquid to access your HTML here. There are also different pages you can take a look at. Those are your collection template. There's really not a lot here as they're typically references to different other files. But mainly as a Shopify store owner, you're gonna be on the theme.liquid the most if you're really in here at all. You really have access to all your other files. But overall in a nutshell, that is how you edit the HTML code for your Shopify theme. It just takes a little bit of navigation and you want to read through line by line as there's quite a bit of information in there, especially if you don't have experience with HTML. Well, that concludes the video on how to aid the HTML in your Shopify theme. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this process. It can be a little intimidating, so just let me know there and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And again, if you are looking for a profit calculator app so you can understand how your store is truly doing on a real time basis, check out profit calc in the link in the description. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything out there for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.